What's up boys and girls? So today, after five months of having this in my possession, we're gonna fit uh, the hybrid racing short shifter to my CRZ. So in the meantime, we're just having something to eat. There's Sam, and obviously there's the CRZ. We've got the old hybrid racing box here. I've had this in my possession for about five months now, as I've just said. Today, we're finally getting it fitted. I've been holding on to it, because uh, as you will be aware, I've been fitting loads of parts to me CRZ recently and doing those little hybrid racing videos and such. So today's the day, it's finally happening. As you can see, I've already got the hybrid racing Maxim shift knob installed. That's the stainless steel one. Uh, I think I was one of the first to get that in the UK actually. I jumped straight on it when it came out last year. And I've got a little hybrid racing wristband on there. So that will go in there. Uh, obviously got to remove all the center console. And uh, yeah, let's smash that out. Right, so I'm just gonna take all these trims off. Uh, before I go into this, this isn't gonna be a how-to, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. Um, and crack on with it. So I'm gonna pull this fucking thing off. Don't wanna snap it. Ah! I need to repaint this, because I've kinda of gone off Mighty Carmos. Not saying they're stuff is shit, but they've become very arrogant, I think, as YouTubers. So that's got to come off. Uh, a couple of screws we've got to take out. Um, Would you be so kind to pass me the 17mm spanner? On it. Ding dong. Hey, sir. Welcome. Let's crack this fucker off. Not took that angle. Uh, come on, two guys into the door. There we go. Oh. Spin a Rooney. Oh, there we go. Harbour racing, motherfucker. Want that? <laughs> I got, few, I got quite a few of them. Love ya. Yeah, man. So I'm gonna take this out because I see all the fanboys just sort of running no gator so you can see it all which is cool with me I guess well you buy an expensive part like that you kind of want it on show a bit don't you no yeah, man I liked so let's see what that looks like without that yeah it's quite nice actually doesn't it yeah 100% or should we lose the silver no I think if I lose the silver it might have a nasty edge I'll clean all that up though and I keep my cars clean. <laughs> oh. oh, mind you, that's never been off. So. Do you know I've got something else I've got to put in here? What's that? I forgot about it. I specifically, even though you're not going to see it, I don't even think if you look down the, the hole around this, mm. oh, you might. I bought the the mounting uh, washers, the hardware bits for for them as well. Amen. Oh. Is it up and down or is it ah, there we go. Way. You're pretty popular today, Sam. Yeah. Right. Oh fuck hell. Hang on, they caught on that cable. I'm caught the gear dogs off. Just So from my understanding, obviously they've got to come off, it's quite obvious that. Uh, this wiring harness has got to be unclipped. That twists out, that one pulls out. Uh, that's about it, I think. Obviously, you've got to undo it there as well, from underneath. But this whole assembly, and I've just got my finger in goo, is going bye bye. Alright, so Gareth's making progress on installing the hybrid racing shifter. Uh, this is the mess he's made so far. You motherfucker! Pretty cool watching it get done. Always good to know as well. Well, you've got to, I suppose, learn it a little bit. Because we've got to plan ahead for when you get your next Z. Yes, so, we were chatting to Gareth this morning. I've been, well, I've been chatting about him. Chatting to him about it for a little while now, but 
when I got my Civic in October last year, I was also looking at another Honda CRZ, and I miss mine a lot because I had a 2010 back in 2016, I want to say. I only kept it for a year. Oh, uh, yeah, you bought it in 16. I think you got rid of it in 17. Got rid of it in 17, yeah. So um, I kept it for a short period of time, and I've missed it ever since. It's been the most reliable car I've ever had, and they're very unique little cars, and they're only going up in price now because of how unique they're becoming and because well, of the climb in hybrids and electric vehicles. They're not just going up in because of um, well they're not not all of them are going up in value the ones that are like really rough like low spec ones like S's or some sports as well um, that have silly mileage on them yeah. they're not I wouldn't say they're going up in value GT's with low mileage and sports with low mileage are the way to go don't bother with an S if you're watching this and you're interested in getting a CRZ, don't bother with an S. You don't get factory tints, you don't get leather steering wheel, you don't get the aluminium gear knob, you don't get audio controls, you don't get, there's so much you don't get, don't get parking sensors. Uh, I suppose if you're going to strip it and K20 it, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. Um, but there's still, there's still like little mod cons and stuff like folding mirrors and stuff like that that I would still want. 100%. Even on, um, you know. A uh, track car, wow, look at this bird near something. They'll be the fuckers that keep shitting on my car. But yeah, the plan is in the future to get another CRZ of some sort. Uh, had a look at a couple today on Auto Trader, just oh, getting an idea. You're fucking <laughs> yeah. You haven't seen this yet, have you? I haven't, no. It's paper, 400 pound paper. Yeah. I know they ship this with the. Um, the hardest spring inside. Oh, it's literally, it's so amazing the quality on this. It's the same with all hybrid racing cars. Even the paper thing. Right, look at that. Wow. That does look brilliant. It's actually, that's not heavier than the other one. Even being plastic. Yeah, I, there's not a huge weight difference in the two. Did say probably that way. Be similar. Yeah, that's it. That's crazy. Right, so obviously, this is supplied by my good friends, Talk Parts, Talk GT, uh, as usual. And got a few goodies. Talk GT air fresheners, stickers, and Kieran, which I've opted to give to Sam because he's awesome. Thank you. Uh, oh, got a high braces sticker. Yeah, boy. Oh, fucking hell! They're loading me with shit. More air fresheners as well. <laughs> stickers. So about 100 quid of that was made up in stickers and air fresheners, you say? <laughs> no, don't be silly. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Matt. Love you. Yeah, so we're getting along with this quite nicely. Obviously, we're taking it at our leisure because this is a wonderful day. And I look really ginger in this light. I mean, I know I am ginger, but fucking hell. So um, as well as uh, fitting the hybrid racing short shifter kit, um, obviously, I'll be fitting my... Um, my stainless steel hybrid racing maximum shift knob back on this but um being the fanboy of hybrid racing that i am even though I've, i have kind of already mentioned this being you probably won't see it uh but i'll know they're there so that's, that's good enough for me um fitting these <laughs> so these are the slightly bigger ones so if you look up my video on the hardware kit by uh, hybrid, hybrid racing i'll put a link in the description so these go in the shifter base um you do already get supplied obviously with um new mounting but um don't come to washers i wanted that <laughs> so i'm gonna fit them as well i'm right, gonna clutch down obviously i'm gonna try and do it from here just so you can see what <laughs> oh my god barely anything in it fuck me that's crazy I love the weight of that gear knob, it's yeah. just the best. So, oh, it's so good. You've got all the adjustment here, so you can have this at whatever angle you want. I've wanted it dead straight, which obviously does make it slightly off center because this is a slightly off centric piece. And I've got that in the lowest position. You can obviously have this higher by so much more, uh, which I suppose will give you more um, lateral movement, but it will obviously make the throws feel slightly longer. That's insane. Mm. I can't wait to smash that on a track. 
oh, like, even with that gear knob in, in one of the old standard setup, it, because of the, how much weight is in that gear knob, it made the, the actual action so sloppy in the um, standard setup. It's actually unreal. And Honda are known for having amazing gearboxes, but wow. <laughs> Hybrid racing, well done. That is amazing. Right, let's get some cinematics of that, Sam. Sounds good to me. Sam's just having a go in it now. That's insane. <laughs> Literally barely any movement to it whatsoever. Let's reverse. First. <laughs> Bear in mind that's in the lowest setting as well. <laughs> it just feels like it's not going in gear probably, but it is. Yeah, I know. It feels like something else is getting in the way. That's insane. <laughs> right, boys and girls. What do you all think of that? Sam loves it. Don't you, um, mate? You love it, don't you? Yes, 100%. And I do get another CRZ. That is definitely something to buy. On the cards. So, yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're really... We really rate that one. <laughs> we really rate it. Um... I'm so glad to finally have it on. So I've had it since November. Um, so it's good to finally have it on. It was actually a Christmas present for me from my wife. However, uh, we ordered it back in November. So, thank you wifey. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna close this one off. Stick around for more Honda content, uh, more car reviews, more hybrid racing parts, because I have more. I have at least two more parts to go on this car at the moment. Uh, I'm sure when they release more stuff um, that will fit. Sorry, I'm just staring at a bird that's making a nest. Um, that will fit my car. Um, or more universal parts that they do for Hondas and Acuras. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Catch you on the next one. In a bit. <laughs>